At Crayola, we believe. We believe. At Crayola, we believe. In Crayola, nosotros creemos. At Crayola, we believe. There is a place where houses float. And cars fly. Where you can climb a ladder to the clouds. And send an octopus to the moon. It's a place where you can daydream in color, waste time on the timeless, and imagine the unimaginable. Where is this place? Where is this place? In the uniquely original and wonderful mind of a child. I'm a pharmacist here at CAPS. I work in the clean room and I will help supervise the techs and get the orders going. I do actually like what I do. I work in the warehouse. I'm responsible for about three different sets of people. It's, it's kind of exciting for me. <laughs> Many of us, we could have gone to work for a variety of different companies. The people that work for B. Braun have made a conscious decision to work for a company that's providing life-saving technology every day. At 39 weeks, I went into the hospital and I was induced and they had to hang an oxytocin bag. And sure enough, the oxytocin bag was made here at our facility. And I looked at the bag, I took a picture, I knew the exact tech that made it, I knew the pharmacist that checked it. And I had twins and they were premature. When I went down in the neonatal center, I saw that TPN has trophamine and a lot of other electrolytes. I know that's very safe and I was very, very touched. Like, you know, as a parent, you worry, and especially when you have a, a two pounder baby and just very little and you don't know what's going in. And my kids are safe. And matter of fact, today is their birthday. They are walking, running, talking. Whatever long hours I put here, I know it pays somebody's life. So I just make me really work hard. We are definitely putting together a life-saving device that is helping not just one person every day, but thousands of people every day. We have family members, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters. I'll help the girls in the office like, hey, you need me to do something, move a box. And they go, you like being here, don't you? And I go, yes, I love this place. This is my home, this is my family. This is what I have now, besides my two kids, is my work, and I look forward to coming every day. Reputation that I saw when I rotated as a medical student was that everybody had a lot of fun, um, everybody got along well, and everybody was really happy coming to work, and that has been true since the day I started. We're looking for residents that are passionate about being the very best physician they can and are passionate about providing good care for their patients. That's really what it all boils down to is providing good care and, and making your patients know that you care. My three big interests are public health, wilderness medicine, and international medicine. And um, when I went here, they were one of the people who were most willing to work with me to let me go overseas. Through their four years of training, I have no doubt that they are going to see everything that is out there in the world of medicine. The acute myocardial infarction, the heart attack. Uh, we have a system here where we get them to the cath lab within 90 minutes, and they learn what our role is to make sure everybody is on board with the protocol that is set. They'll take care of the acute stroke victim with thrombolytic therapy. The latest addition to the Lake Naomi Timber Trails family is the newly renovated Mountaintop Lodge for both members and guests to enjoy all the amenities offered at Lake Naomi. I'd say what we enjoy the most are the people that we encounter up here. We both have um, high pressure jobs and we thought we wanted to find a place to get away and kind of get away from people in general. Marlon and Nora inspire strength. They, every time you come away from a meeting with them, you know that you can go another day longer that you can keep on doing this and, and doing it well. And more than just getting through your own life, you can reach out and help others the same way they reach out and help others. We feel really grateful that uh, we were able to walk a part of the journey with you, both as a hospital staff and as a survivor community. We would never wish this kind of accident on anyone, but we are, just really admire the way you've used it. 
in your marriage and as individuals to grow and to help other people. And I think that most people that come in contact with the two of you are really blessed and, and take a minute to think about, hmm, I wonder if I would be able to take such adversity and make it an opportunity.